Jay Court. All three of us over here said, mmm, what you said. <laughs> it's a lifestyle change. That's the idea, right? We've got uh, Dr. Michael Greger here, and we've also got Lanny Milrath, uh, she, who she comes in all the time. Fantastic recipes. We're going to tie all this together because you wrote the book, How Not to Die. <laughs> and, you, of course, you've got the uh, plant-based living that's actually going to pull this whole journey together, right? So, Dr. Uh, Greger, let's talk about, first of all, you've come up with the 12 daily things that most people should eat, you know, just to kind of be more preventative as opposed to waiting until you've got a problem and then you go to the doctor, right? Right, right. The good news is we have tremendous power over our health, destiny, and longevity. Yeah. The vast majority of premature death and disability is preventable with a plant-based diet and other healthy lifestyle behaviors, but there's particular plants yeah. that encourage people to get into their daily diet. And look at this gorgeous okay. display that you've got out here. We love, you know, trying to eat the rainbow. That's one of the, the, the fun things that we tell kids and stuff. Absolutely. But when you, when you start thinking about what kinds of things to uh, incorporate, it, like beans, uh, oh, spices. Oh, absolutely. I love beans as a vegetarian. we got the beans over here. Look yeah. at And I've got recipes here from the plant-based journey that demonstrate the daily dozens. So perfect match. This is golden turmeric rice. So right. it incorporates the spices, too, which are really important important for antioxidant properties. And so you were saying that spices, again, lots of antioxidants, lots of people forget that spices are something that you should incorporate into your foods, right? There are now 50 clinical trials showing that turmeric, this mm -hmm. yellow spice turmeric that's used in curry, has been successful in use in treating a number of brain diseases, liver diseases, yeah. and even a number of cancers. Can make colorectal cancer polyps disappear, can make, <laughs> uh, can help prevent, uh, re improve recovery after surgery. Um, also helpful in reducing inflammation from inflammatory bowel disease and lupus. I encourage people to eat a quarter teaspoon of turmeric every day. That's a not much. And now you can see why his book is so fat it couldn't right. fit on my stand. <laughs> you know, there's so much information. Right? It's just really got a lot going on. Well, let's talk about um, some of the fruits and veggies. Sure. The, and you say that there are certain fruits and veggies that Absolutely. we should really focus Absolutely. on. Right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Here yes. they are, the cabbages. And That's the... why the salad is gorgeous. Yeah. But this, this puts it all into play, right? Right. See, so it's, it's, it's critical that we get cruciferous vegetables. That's the cabbage family of vegetables like kale, collards, right. uh, you know, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts into our daily diet. Probably the easiest purple way cabbage. is this purple cabbage. <laughs> Just to, I always have a purple cabbage in my fridge at all times to slice off shreds to put into basically any food. It's okay. a nice, crunchy, colorful, and healthful garnish. I love that. Okay, now talk to me about blueberries because I'm a I'm a berry fiend. Are there certain berries that we should? gravitate towards? Any berries. Okay. I encourage people to eat berries every day. Harvard researchers found that a single serving of blueberries a week and two servings of, of strawberries can slow brain aging by two and a half years, slowing cognitive decline. Serving. I mean, so that's wow. really, I mean, so a simple dietary yeah. tweak tastes good and you get to live longer. That's what plant-based eating is all about. So, Lenny, when you're putting all these recipes yeah. together, this isn't something that's going to take hours and hours in the no, kitchen. No, as right? I've told you, I'm a lazy cook. I just, you know, <laughs> I throw it all together like this. And yeah. here's a perfect example for the berries. You can accomplish uh, like four of the daily dozen or five of them at breakfast. Right. You cook whole grains, which, as Dr. Greger says, is increases longevity. Um, there's a direct correlation between heart disease and longevity with eating more whole grains. Isn't that whole correct? Grains, particularly with high blood pressure, yes. Yeah, Fantastic. so I've got some oats and farro here. You put some blueberries on it, and Dr. Greg, why don't you tell us about uh, flaxseed? Because I brought some of those. Well, with you know what me. I'm going to do? I'm going to actually link all the information to our oh, website, goodysacramento.com, so you can get some more details top. about this. And Landy, you've got this fantastic app on your phone. Yeah. I'm just going to pop it up. We're going to link this to our white website as well, so you can incorporate yeah. all the things that Dr. Greger's talking about, as well as what's in Landy's uh, book. Pull it all together. It's a lifestyle change, yeah. people. Like right. This is at nutritionfacts.org. So he has a daily dozen Perfect. on we'll the app, so people awesome. can just check off. It's a good. All right, yeah. guys, back over. You. Nice. Now it looks so tasty too, right? <laughs> so it'd be fun to kind of check up.